students, welcome to this class. The unit title is Food and Beverage Service Year 1, and the unit code is DHT 1206. My name is Peter Kangara. You remember last time we talked about the preparation of the restaurant, so that is the restaurant is ready to serve the meal. So our topic today is about serving the meal. That's the topic today. And serving the meal, we, at the end of this lesson, we want to achieve three, four main things. How to greet the guest in a proper manner, taking of the orders, serving the meal in a professional manner, and finally, bidding of the guests. In other words, we are looking at four key steps in our topic. One of them is the receiving, greeting the guests, taking the order, serving the meal and maintaining the service as the guests are enjoying their meal and presenting the bill and saying goodbye to your guests once they have left and of course inviting them to come back again. Let's start with the greeting of the guests. We have what we call the critical points that we need to be very familiar with. One, acknowledging the guest quickly when the guest is coming in. Then greeting the guest in a friendly manner and of course with a smile. Using the guest name if you know the name of the particular guest. And finally, being aware of the guest's particular needs and wants in terms of the products and the seating positions in the restaurant. Let's start with the, the procedure because we have seen the, the critical points. Now we want to look at the pro procedure. There is greeting the guests. That is number one. And here we're saying, remember to walk to meet the guests at the entrance if time allows. Offer to hang the coat or any other belonging the guests might be having, and especially during the cold period. Escort the guests in a very appropriate manner to the table. Do not run. Walk with the guests. Remember to walk to the chair closest to the window so that you can help the guests to sit. Pull the chair for the guests to sit and present the menu. Once you have presented the menu, if it's one guest, one menu, if there are four guests in a table, yes, or if there are three, yes, each guest should get a copy of the menu. Then remove any extra place setting if there is no guest that is going to occupy or if necessary to give the maximum space to the guest occupying the table. And, and there, adjust the remaining space setting, if necessary, to give the maximum space to your guest occupying the table. Then, service sequence. One, taking the order. And here, taking the order, Let's look at the critical points involved. Be alert to guest needs. Know the menu, the ingredients, the presentation methods of 
all the foods available uh, in the menu in your restaurants. And uh, therefore, be prepared to make suggestions and recommendations if the guest requests. And of course, you as a good salesperson, you are going to be ready to offer those suggestions and recommendations. When taking the order, use a system that will help you identify the guest in terms of who ordered what. A system like the focal point uh, method. So that you don't come with the food, you stand there and you start asking the guest who ordered this, who ordered that, who ordered that. That's not good service. The procedure, greet guests and explain any special item on the menu. Like, for example, the chef's suggestion. Explain it to the guests and suggest an aperitif. An aperitif is the first drink that we serve before the food. For example, would you like to have a glass of our house wine? or our house red wine, for example. Take the beverage order starting with the ladies and continue clockwise around the table until you're through. Have the orders controlled, of course, that's very important. If you have uh, whichever control system is in place, then you have to follow that. Serve the beverages from the right The right hand side of each guest, then take the food order and suggest the wine that the guest may want to accompany, probably the first course or the main dish. Procedure. Control the food orders. Once you have the order, then you will have to adjust the place setting or the covers as per the order you have received from the guest and of course the necessary wine glasses needed because you have the order for the wine either one or two or even three you adjust the glasses serve the bread and butter one roll for each guest on the table that's very important then serving the meal and maintaining service. The critical points here we are saying, make sure each dish is complete. When you are picking the food from the kitchen, it is your responsibility to make you do not pick up a dish that is not complete. Serve everyone at the same time, yes, you do not want to have a situation where uh, you have four guests, then you bring two food, then you have to go to the kitchen and waste another five minutes before you can bring the main dish for the other two remaining guests. We want uh, it's good service when you have to serve all the guests at the same time. But of course, when you're serving, serve the children if they are there first, then go to the ladies and you finish with the gentlemen who are on the table. Serve food from the right side of uh, the guest and if you have to clear anything, please do it from the right hand side of the guest. Once you are through with the service, it's, you are not going to go very far away. And again, you do not want to hover around the table. Stand at a position where you can see what's going on at the table. And uh, of course, after maybe two or three minutes, it's good to go and check to find out whether your guest may want some, is something else. Or to refill, like for example, to refill the wines or water glasses. B careful or be observant of food not eaten that is critical the guest may 
not like the food and you want to find out why uh, so that if it's a problem that can be rectified quickly yes you can bring the menu to the guest and ask the guest to order for something else or it could be uh, the guest will give you the reason why probably he did not finish the food and it's good to find out and of course you inform your immediate supervisor and the chef clean and clear as the guests have finished yes then as the guests are enjoying their meals refill the beverages and also the condiments procedure clear any empty glasses and replenish the beverages for example wine or water clear all glasses and any other service items from the right check bread and butter there are those guests who may want to have a, an extra bread roll and butter so keep on checking to make sure yes they are available to the guest open the wine and serve and opening of the wine of course we we are going to follow the wine service procedures serve the first courses and of course again you are going to serve from the right and start with the ladies first then the other gentlemen on the table check back within two minutes of each course just to find out how well your guests are enjoying the meal and if they may require uh, some more service or a particular item clear the first course items and again refill the bread and butter if uh, there is a guest who may want to uh, uh, add a piece of roll and butter serve the main dishes and remember to offer paper meal at all the guests it is good service when you are through with the service of the main uh, service of serving the main dish please go to your sideboard pick up the main paper meal then come and uh, serve to the guests do not place it on the table it is you to meal the paper on top of the guest uh, food but of course you will have to ask whether they want uh, the paper meal or not serving the meal and maintaining the service continues the procedure clear when all guests have finished and remove all and unwanted items from the table and you only leave the flowers the ashtray if the table is located in a smoking uh, section of the restaurant otherwise remove everything else the salt and pepper of the menage the bread baskets the butter plates and any other cutlery including all the empty glasses then you crab the table before you can bring the menu for the dessert before the service of dessert clean the table and reset the dessert covers serve the dessert then take the coffee orders and remember to suggest maybe a, a port or a dessert wine or a digestive or liqueurs that will come to uh, together with the coffee that will be served together with the coffee because we are a sales people in the restaurant therefore uh, it is good when we are taking the coffee we also come with the liqueurs digestives port and dessert wines menu so that we can recommend to the guests bring the bills once requested 
and give it to the host and then clear the table and reset that table for the next use or as per the instruction from your supervisor. Presenting the bill and saying farewell to your guests. The critical points here are the bill should be accurate and a bill that the guest can read. Time check all items served carefully to make sure everything has been charged for and there is no overcharge and the bill is correct. And know the restaurant policy on personal checks and the credit cards. Never count your tip until the guests have left if there is any tip. And of course, remember, tip is not a must. The guest will tip if the service was good. Thank your guests and invite them to come back to your restaurant or what you call sell a return visit to your guest as you escort them to the door. Presenting the bill and saying farewell. The procedure. Present the bill on your request. Collect the payment in whichever method of payment. Correct. Return the, the correct change. And if it was credit card, yes, the card has to be returned to the owner, who is the guest. Thank the guest and bid the guest farewell. And do not forget to sell the restaurant visit next time or to invite your guests to come back uh, next time or tomorrow before the guests are out of the door scan the table this is again a very important point scan the table and the surrounding floor just in case your guest may have left something or they may have forgotten something on the table or on the chair or around the floor so that you can quickly take it to them before they uh, walk out. Then reset the table as needed. Okay. Then points to remember throughout at you, as you serve the meal. Serve your food and beverages from the right, unless when we are serving food, unless we are serving the food from a platter. But if it's plated, then we we'll have to do it from the right hand side of the guest. Refill the wine glasses all the time. Do not wait for the guest to call you. Do not wait for the guest to call you. It is good to anticipate rather than wait for the guest to call you. Anticipate, look at the table, look at the glasses. See whether there is need for you to refill those glasses. Go and uh, do it. Do not wait to be called. Bread and butter should be served fast. Yes, it should come fast before anything else. You are telling the guest, yes, welcome, and as I give you the menu, you can continue with bread and butter. You are inviting them to uh, the restaurant. It is important to ensure the correct cover covers are on the table before you bring the food. It's not only the covers, but also the food accompaniments, especially the cold appetizers. If the guest has ordered for the cold appetizers, it's very important to understand 
uh, the accompaniment of each uh, starter and they should be there together with the starter not after you have served that's when you are going to pick up the the, the accompaniment remember to clarify orders when you have taken it take the order before you leave the table stand there and establish eye contact with your guests then ask them we clarify the order i'm sorry clarify the order so that you confirm you have exactly what the guest each guest want that is very important now is the you are giving the guest another chance if there is any one of them who would like to change his or her mind to do that this is to confirm you have the correct order that's very important before presenting the bill check for the uh, for that bill accuracy check to make sure everything has been captured is chargeable there is no overcharge and uh, the total is correct the time it takes for a guest to receive a course should not exceed five minutes once you have served the first course then the guest once you clear the guest should not be made to wait for a very extended length of time before the main dish comes at least five minutes will be ideal after five minutes the guests are already looking around whether to they can spot you somewhere they do and they are likely to complain so the gap between the first course and the main dish should not be more than five minutes and if it's going to extend to more than five minutes it is always good to go and inform the guests that please I'll be with you with your main dish give me one two more minutes excuse yourself explain to them they will understand rather than five minutes is over they cannot see you they don't know whether you are there or you disappeared no 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 and that's the end of our lesson these televised lectures supplement our robust online learning going on on our mku online platform you can view more on our televised lectures via our online platform we are in a digital era and Mount Kenya University knows this. The following are the steps to follow so as to complete your online application. Download the application form from the website www.mku.ac.ke. Attach copies of your academic certificates and ID. Pay the application fees via M-Pesa pay bill number 270988. Your ID is the account number. 2,000 shillings is the charge for a postgraduate. You can also deposit in the bank accounts provided on the website. Then, email all the above to apply at mku.ac.ke.